MachineTutorials.com. Yo, what's good? This is Saint Joe, MachineTutorials.com. Here with a quick video to kind of show you the Machine 2.2 update. I know a lot of people are excited about the chords and the arps and different things like that, but I want to show you something that was missing from a lot of our workflows, and that's being able to record your MIDI directly into your DAW, in this case, Ableton Live. So I want to show you they changed some things so we don't have all the workarounds that we used to have, you know, in recent updates. So I'm going to just load this kit. Say I got that kit loaded, I'm going to do a right click, of course, and go to Sounds to MIDI Notes. Next thing I want to do is I'm going to highlight all my pads. I'm going to come to the channel, output, send that to the host. We can just leave it on channel 1. If we're not going to transpose anything. I want to come over here to the input. I want to turn through off. What this does, it'll block that MIDI data from coming back out of the pad and creating a MIDI loop. So we turn that off. We also want to come over to your group, activate your group MIDI input, give it a channel. We're also going to go here and transpose it. So now we don't have to make that extra MIDI host group and all that different stuff. We can do it similar to the way we used to be able to do it. We can just block that MIDI feedback loop by turning it off through. So you can see if I come over here, I got a MIDI track and an external track just to show you it works the same. So if I were on my MIDI track, I'd go machine, machine, and then you can see right here I got machine and track one. You can see the MIDI input. It will be the same if we come over here. So we're going to say input from machine, choose machine again, and then down here on our external instrument, you can see right here, machine, machine. If we look right here, we'll see our MIDI input. And just to show you that it works, we'll just do a really, really quick little uh, clip. So you got the MIDI going in. You got a triggering machine, no more MIDI feedback loop. Main thing you want to remember is make sure you turn off that MIDI through. So when you have all these selected, you know, on your input right here, you don't want that MIDI through out. If you, if you want to send MIDI out, you know, of machine to something else, then you'll turn that on. If you want to block it so you can use it in this way, make sure you have that MIDI through turned off. Of course, if you got any questions about it, let me know. I just wanted to do an update just because I know this is something that a lot of people were looking for or had issues with in terms of using their MIDI in a DAW. So hopefully this helps you out. Again, if you got any questions about it, let me know. This is St. Joe, MachineTutorials.com, showing you the Machine 2.2 update, recording MIDI in real time into Ableton Live. Let me know what you think, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.